Hello everyone, Richard here, and welcome to the 19th episode in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the newest addition to Payday 2, the MA-17 Flamethrower. The MA-17, despite its futuristic appearance, is actually based on a real product developed by the Boring Company. While not technically a flamethrower, it functions similar to one by propelling ignited gas at a fair distance, considering its size. While it lacks the reach and unmatched savagery of a full-sized flamethrower, this not a flamethrower is still very effective in close quarters. Like most special weapons, the MA-17 fits a specialized role and unlike the flamethrower Mark I, can be used as a secondary weapon. Base damage for the flamethrower is very low at 7, however its additional damage over time makes this number rather unimportant. Like the Mark I, the MA-17 will quickly deplete an enemy's health thanks to damage over time even up to the higher difficulties. Remember that tap firing will be the most ammo efficient way to kill enemies. Against special enemies, its unique ability to immobilize them can make it useful against cloakers who would otherwise charge or bulldozers making them vulnerable to a quick takedown by a teammate. Shields as well are vulnerable as the shield they carry does not block the roaring holocaust that emits from the MA-17. Fire rate is high unsurprisingly, at 2000 rounds per minute as flamethrower type weapons emit a near constant stream of fire. This makes it an excellent option to take with the grinder perk deck, maximizing your health regeneration by constantly taking damage on enemies, however small it may be. Paired with the Muscle Perk deck, the MA-17 can cause a fair amount of panic with such a high fire rate. However, when ignited, enemies will be panicked regardless, so this effect can be negligible if you're thorough when clearing rooms. For stability, thanks to Newton's third law, recoil is a non-factor, so feel free to throw compensation out the window. The same also applies to accuracy as you're just shooting a rather wide gout of flame out the front no precision required. Magazine size comes in at a healthy 700 rounds, meaning you should have around 21 seconds of uninterrupted firing time assuming you hold on the trigger the entire time. In reality you should have around 25 or so seconds when tap firing, giving you roughly 20% better ammo economy and saving you from reloading. Total ammunition is also good at 1400 rounds, giving you around 50 seconds of flame throwing when tap firing. This is further extended if you take the low temperature mixture modification, but reduced with high temp mix or the Merlin nozzle, all of which shift total ammo by 350. Unfortunately, the large fuel tank size and ammo count comes at the expense of reloads requiring considerable amount of time to fiddle with the valves and regulator. By default, you'll be looking at an 8.5 second time for reloading, the longest uninterruptible in the game tied with the Mark I flamethrower. To remedy this, the lock and load aced skill will speed up this reload by 40% when two kills are scored with a qualifying weapon, or 50% with the aced bloodthirst skill if you score a melee kill. Combining these is smart as lock and load is a fairly common skill in LMG and assault rifle builds and bloodthirst is relatively inexpensive to acquire. Moving on to modifications, thanks to its small pool it's relatively simple. We will omit a barrel and equip either a team boost or total ammo boost, laser sight or flashlight of your choice, and the low temperature fuel tank. This will give us additional total ammo at the cost of initial damage, however will not reduce the all-important damage over time. For skills, the MA-17 is pretty flexible and can work with almost any build minus low detection builds. But some skills that benefit the most are overkill aced with a shotgun build or lock and load aced with a full auto build. Bloodthirst paired with second wind will also work giving you better melee attacks, faster reloads, and quicker movement lest your armor breaks. For a perk deck, this again comes down to your build type, as I wouldn't focus my build around the MA-17. 
Grinder does work fairly well, however, so do any other non-dodge option except Sicario since it doesn't require low detection. If you want to maintain a high damage over time build, Molotovs work well as a good throwable, and the Katana is arguably the best melee for quick kills. Strategy wise, flamethrowers work best as previously stated when tap fired as opposed to being held down. Keep this in mind when focusing on single enemies as this will prevent you from constantly having to reload. Also, the MA-17 does have a maximum range, so bear that in mind as it's only a few meters. On Mall Crasher, this is an excellent weapon to bring, allowing you to efficiently destroy tons of merchandise and property without having to reload. This weapon also is great for claustrophobic maps with high spawn rates like the Diamond or Hoxton Breakout Day 2. The MA-17 is an awesome shield breaker weapon and can save you a few skill points by not taking shock and awe aced if you're using an assault rifle or other non-permeating primary weapon. Just remember that it doesn't do so well against Captain Winners and his phalanx, so frag grenades may be required to finish the job. Overall, the MA-17 is a fun weapon to use and not a bad secondary for a variety of weapon types, granting it a lot of versatility. However, its pathetic range, poor time to kill, and terrible reloads even with lock and load and bloodthirst aced makes it situational at best and leaves you helpless against snipers. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite way is to use the MA-17 and what you think of this new weapon. If you haven't noticed, in my recent videos I have been linking my Patreon at the end of the video which has been fully updated. Making content is hard work, especially working full time, and anything you can spare would be greatly appreciated and would only help further the channel. Join me next time when we look at the Thanatos, but until then, happy hunting.